Former Mythbusters host Grant Imahara traveled to the fast food chain's potato processing plant in Idaho to see the production process from start to finish. During his investigation he found that there are two rounds of frying. He also discovered that dimethylpolysiloxane, a form of silicone found in silly putty, is used in the making of McDonald's fries along with a petrol-based chemical called tertiary butyl hydroquinone, TBHQ. However, he reassures viewers that these are both safe additives used for perfectly good reasons. Dimethylpolysiloxane, which Imahara struggles to pronounce, is added for safety reasons to prevent cooking oil from foaming. While tertiary butyl hydroquinone, TBHQ, is applied as a food preservative, Imahara explains that there are numerous steps involved in the creation of McDonald's fries. First potatoes are harvested from fields before being peeled cut and blanched. They're then fired through a cutter at up to 70 miles an hour into thin sticks. After being chiseled into the perfect shape, the strips of potato are sauced with a blend of canola oil, soybean oil, hydrogenated soybean oil, natural beef flavor, hydrolyzed wheat, hydrolyzed milk, citric acid, and dimethylpolysiloxane. Dextrose, a natural sugar, is sprayed on the batons to help them maintain a golden fried color. Sodium acid pyrophosphate is also added to prevent the fries from going gray. Last but not least, salt is sprinkled on for flavor. The fries are then flash frozen at the Simplot factory and transported to McDonald's outlets across the country. Once they are at restaurants, the potato sticks are fried for a second time. The oil blend is similar to the factory mix, with the addition of tertiary butyl hydroquinone and hydrogenated soybean oil a manufactured form of trans fat. And voila! McDonald's world-famous fries are served.